about tomorrow, for you, for you do not know what a day may bring forth. And then I got the living translation, which that's the one I'm going to do. Uh, don't brag about tomorrow, or, or both, uh, since you don't know what, what the day will bring. And um, Bud wanted me to express myself. And, uh, you know, apparently I'm not going to dance. I like brushing a dance, but I can't. <laughs> so um, I decided to do a little sign, you know, a word. Because I think it's, when I started, um, when I started looking up in the, in the sign language book, I noticed it, it, it kind of uh, correlates with, with, the, with the Bible. So um, this is brag, okay? It's brag this way, then it's brag this way. Now think about it. This is your heart. You know, what, I mean, what does your heart tell you, you know? So I thought that was pretty cool. And then this is, this is tomorrow. Tomorrow. Okay. Yeah, tomorrow. Like that. So, um, let's see. And this is what I put. When you brag or boast of tomorrow, you are setting yourself up for disappointment, wrong thinking, embarrassment, or even getting angry at, at yourself or, or God. And I said that only because when I first, first became a, a, a newborn Christian, this, this is way back, um, it was that name and claim it time. And I really believed in name. Not that I, I mean, not that I'm saying anything bad about it, you know, but I didn't know any better, you know. I was... Um, I was listening to some people on the radio that I didn't know I shouldn't have. And um, I started bragging to me and bragging to God that I was going to get this and that and this and that. And I didn't know that, you know, you, you, you got to have, have the right motive, too, you know. But then I didn't know. I was just young. And um, I got mad at God. And I said, I'm done. Yeah. I'm done. That's it. So, so for a whole year, I walked away from him. And I, I did my own thing. I tell you, it was the worst, the most miserable thing. It was so miserable. You know what I mean? But I realized in that time, well, then, wait, 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 wait let me back up. Then someone gave me a book about don't be mad about God. I don't know who it was from, but I started reading about it. And then I, you know, it started to click. So, um, and then I came back to the Lord, and I repented, and here I am. <laughs> and, uh, let's see. And I got in the scripture from Isaiah 55, 8-9, um, at the New King James Version. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, yeah. nor your ways my ways, says yeah. the Lord. As for as the heavens are higher than your ways, and my thoughts your thoughts. Hold on, I gotta turn down my hearing aid. It's, it's ringing. <laughs> when when you boast about oneself, or or think or think you think your thoughts are are better than anyone else's or God's, you are in for a rude awakening. You know what I mean? I mean it's true. It's true. I mean, it's it takes a fool. I mean. I think we all thought that that this is better than that, but you know, God tends to humble us. Yeah. You know what I mean? I, I've been humbled too many times. That's <laughs> 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 true. And then, you know, I put down this too. I put from Matt, Matt six thirty four. Therefore, do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow it's it's its for own thing for its own thing. And um, I got the, I got the meaning, I got more meaning too. It says boast, bragging, boasting, anything boast of, to, to talk especially of oneself with too much pride and satisfaction, brag. To be vainly proud, to glory in having something. Both also, I like this, I like this. Both also mean jive. You remember in the 70s? They give me no job, right. but that actually means boasting, you know. So I said, yeah. "Well, that's cool. I used to say that, <laughs> you know, right. and I, I didn't even know what it meant." And and 
And in the noun, it means slang, deceptive, deceptive, exaggerated, or meaningless talk. And the verb is to, to tease or ked. And an adjective is insincere, pretentious, or in, oh, wait, okay, I already put that down. And let's see, I'm going here and there. Okay, and I got I got another scripture about boasting. It's Luke nine fourteen in the, in the New King James Version. It says Jesus spoke this parable to to some who trusted it in themselves that they were righteous and despised others. Two men went up to the temple to pray, one a, a Pharisee and and the other a tax collector. The, the Pharisee stood and prayed thus thus with himself. God, I thank you that I am not like other men, extortioners, unjust, adulterers, or even as, as a tax collector. I fast twice a week. I give tithes all that I possess. And then, but, but, but the, but the tax collector, standing far off, would not even raise his eyes to heaven, but beat his breast, saying, God, yes. this gets me every time, it does. saying, God, God, be, God, be merciful to me, a sip. God, be, sorry, God, be merciful merciful to me a sinner I tell you Jesus said this man went down to his house justified rather than than the other for everyone who exalts everyone who exalts himself be humbled and he who humbles himself will be exalted and I thought that was really good and it's kind of funny my um my granddaughter, she she was helping with, you know, I, I she was my audience. <laughs> she was, she was my audience. And um, she, I mean, she was getting this, and she was saying some stuff to me that kind of blew me out of the water. I'm like, wow, hey, that's a good idea, you know? Yeah. Um, but that's on the second one. But this one I got for, I'm gonna do warnings, and um, Proverbs 20, I mean, the number 27 means my, my beloved. And, and I thought about that because you know what? God is telling my beloved, this is my warning. This is my instruction. So this is what I got out of it. Um, I'm going to say um, uh, the, let's see. Um, Thus said the Lord. Let not the wise man boast in his wisdom. Let not the mighty man boast about his might. Let not the rich man boast about in his riches. Oh, in his riches, I said that. Okay, and, and the instruction is not to boast in oneself today or tomorrow, but to boast in him. And then the warning is, um, okay, where did I put that, okay. The warning is, if, if you boast in oneself today, tomorrow, you will sow what you reap. Eat your words. And I, didn't, I forgot to get scripture for that, sorry. <laughs> and, and now I'm going to do Proverbs 27, 2, and it kind of correlates with Proverbs 1. Because, um, pro, and I, I'm not going to go much into it because you guys, get, I'm, I mean, I'm sure that you guys get it. It says, let someone else praise you, not your own mouth. A stranger, not your lips. But my granddaughter um, put this down. She said, um, "Don't make yourself stand out. Let other people do it for you." And I that thought was that was really cool. No, I'm gonna go in Proverbs. Am I going too fast? Does I mean, does anybody have anything to say? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let me, okay. Let me just share uh, a verse out of Ecclesiastes. So I saw that there is nothing better for a man to do 
than to enjoy his work, because that is his lot. For who can bring him to see what will happen after him? Okay, um, I'm going to go to Proverbs 20, 27, 3 now. And um, there is two words that, that stood out for me. It was burden and a fool. And I just wanted to say something. Um, this really, um, pastors always talk about the mind, the mind of Christ. I know this doesn't have to do it, but I was thinking about this. This is the mind. And I was looking up um, a, a sign for mind. It's this. All right, uh, do you know what it means? It means mental. Now think about it. Patrick always says, this is our worst enemy, you know? Yeah. And we have thinking, thinking. So I thought that was cool. Yeah. And, okay, now, let me read the scripture here. I'm going to read three of them. Okay. In the Living Translation, it says, A stone is heavy, a sand is weighty, but the resentment caused by a fool is even heavier. Then I got, Carrying a log across your shoulders while you're hefting a boulder with your arms. It nothing compares to the burden of putting up with a fool. That's true. I mean, shut off your hearing aids, you know. Um, a stone is heavy and a sand weighty, but the provocation of a fool is heavier than both of them. And I'm going to use, um, I like this one. And in, in the message, carrying a log across your shoulders while you're let, hefting a boulder with your arms is nothing compared to the burden of putting up with a fool. And I put, just walk away. Just walk away. Walk away. <laughs> and um, this is the definition of burden. Something that's carried. Something that's oppressive or worrisome. Bearing of a load. Usually used in the phrase, beast of burden. And in, in, the, in the Hebrew, it means Sabel, but it's, it's spelt with a C, and, and that's in five four four five, and it's a prime root to carry, be burdensome, bear, be a burden, carry. Then, then in the Greek, and it's in two five five nine is, <laughs> this is hard to say, cad ab ad is. That's 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 how I'm gonna say it. <laughs> two. To impose upon a burden. <laughs> um, and that's what I wrote. The, the talking of a fool is like a burden a burden in the way. But grace, oh no, this is like from Ecclesians. How do you, how do you say that? Ecclesians, E-C-C, Ecclesians. I, I can never get that right. The, the talking of a fool is like a burden in the way, but grace shall be found in the lips of the wise. Ecclesians 21, 16. Oh, no, 216. What is a fool? And I put in church. Because, I mean, I don't mean it in a bad way. But I mean, in the church, there's, look around. You know, there's a lot of foolish things going on. But, you know, there's some things that are happening in the church, too, you know. And, um, I mean, even I do foolish things. You know, I do. I, I, some of oh, my God, why did I say that? I'm such a fool, you know. So, I mean, all of us do that. I'm, I'm sure. A fool in a noun is a person who acts unwisely or imprudently, a silly person, a verb, trick, or deceive, someone, someone dupe, someone naive. And an object, a, adjective is a foolish or silly. Okay, I'm sorry, Pastor. I, I was just sitting here thinking about, because this verse goes along with what you had in the previous two verses, because it, 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 it boils down to 
what you think about yourself. That's, that's really the whole issue. Right. We, we got to come to an honest outlook of who we really are Actually. in him. And the fact that it ought to humble every one of us to understand that God came and picked us out. We didn't go looking for him. And the bottom line, the whole thing, when you come to the fool, the fool is the one that says no to God. And I was just thinking about what you said at the beginning of the service, how intimidated you were about yourself. That was your viewpoint. Yeah. That was mine. And all the time, that was your viewpoint of yourself. Okay? So, so while all of this is going on, we don't recognize it, but you're saying, God, you can't help me. I'm beyond help. Yeah. So really, you're a fool. You're saying, God, you can't fix this. That's what a fool does. Yeah. God, you can't, you cannot. You know, the, the, it's the statement in, in the Proverbs that says, the fool says no to God or says there is no God. He's constantly disagreeing with God's viewpoint. Yeah. That's what a real fool is. Yeah. He disagrees with God's viewpoint. God's viewpoint of himself, God's viewpoint about what he thinks he knows. Can I, can I share something for a minute? I, I'm supposed to go to Detroit in two weeks and, um, and share. There, 70 years that church has been there. 70 years. The reason Brother Sexton went to Detroit was to go to a place called Zola Tabernacle. I spent two days trying to find on the internet anything about Zola Tabernacle. That was 70 years ago. But I remember listening to their radio program in the 60s. But anyway, Brother Sexton went there. And I remember all the stuff he taught us. And, and I remember thinking, oh my God, you know, it was just more than my mind could take. Mm -hmm. But then the more you study, the more proud you get. Knowledge, profit. Uh, yeah. mm -hmm. That's not God's mindset as a fool. Yeah. Your thoughts are not my thoughts, the Lord said. As a fool. Yeah. And I came to the realization that as I'm studying, get there and the Lord gave me a word. The word is, we haven't arrived yet. We're not there yet. And we think because we get a bunch of knowledge and a bunch of this, we get all puffed up. <laughs> and we position ourselves on better than the next guy. That's the scripture you used. We need to repent sometimes of acting foolishly. And you're getting right into what I was going to say. <laughs> um, oh, and I forgot. I want to tell you what what burden means in sign. I mean, how it's used in, in sign language. Oh, sorry. Okay, I'm not loud enough. All right, thank you, Linda. Um, burden. I want to tell you what it means as a sign language. You know, this is burden, burden on your shoulders. You know, and, and, and the Lord said, take my yoke for it. I, I got it down. I always get it confused with light or easy. Like, yeah, and my burden is light. And and it also means this. And think think of what, what burden, a vein. There's so many, there's so many things that the, that the SAL goes, good. It's, it's amazing how it correlates to, to, to God's word, yeah. you know? And, and I, I was passed out. I was just going to say there's five kinds of fools. 
I looked it up, and it's amazing. It's totally amazing, and it's like, it, I mean, some of these, I say, okay, that's me sometimes. That's me sometimes, you know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and and um, I only use me because, you know, it's, it's life experiences, you know. You learn, and, you know, hopefully you're not too proud like Pastor says, okay, okay, God, all right, what are you trying to say, you know. And, um, and I wrote this down. I got to get my glasses back on. You, you know what I see a fool is someone that doesn't want to listen to wise counsel yeah. or, or correction, yeah. always thinks he's right. And I know, I know there's quite a, I know some people like that, and it drives me nuts. I don't yeah. even bother arg arguing. I, I, was, what, what, I was with this one woman who was a Christian, and I'm not saying she's wonderful, she's beautiful, you know. But when she started talking about the Bible, she started Tell me this and this, and I just, <clears throat> that was it. You know, I am not going to, you know, I mean, it's, it's not worth it. I said, Lord, you show her. I said, I, I mean, she might see things that I don't see, and and, and and there might be things that she doesn't see. So, so sometimes just don't say a thing. <laughs> and there are five types of fools. And a fool is, this is what I think it's called. A fool is, and in, in sign is this. I know it's kind of weird, but it's this. And think about it. A fool always looks down. See, see, a, a humble man will look up and ask the Lord or praise, you know. That's the way I think of it. You know, fool, you know, go ahead, keep looking down on the ground. Don't, I mean, don't ask God for help, you know. He's also got his own. That's good, too. Yes, yes, that's so true. So here, here is five, five. One is a simple fool. The, the simple fool opens his mind to any passing thought. Yeah. And, and Proverbs 23, 22, 3 says, A prudent man foresees the evil and hides himself, but the simple pass on and are punished. Yeah. And number two, the, the silly fool. A mouth of a silly fool often gets him in trouble. And in Proverbs, 20, uh, Proverbs 10, 14, it says, <clears throat> excuse me, a wise man lay up knowledge, but the mouth of a foolish is near, near destruction. Yeah. So, so we got a simple fool. We, we got a silly fool. Uh -huh. And now on three, we have sensual fool. One who rejects the correction of parents, and this goes with what I said about, about not looking for wise counsel, you know, in the church, in the church. Um, one who rejects the correction of parents or other authorities w will become a sensual fool. He doesn't have a mental, mental, mental deficiency, but rather rejects wisdom of God, no, rather rejects the wisdom of God a central fool is unreasonable. You can't reason with them. Yeah. No. Emotional. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> in Proverbs 10, 23, it says, It is a sport to a fool to make mischief, but a man of understanding has wisdom. Yeah. And now we got number four. The, the scorning fool. This type of fool not only rejects the truth. He is also embraced that which is abominable, abominable to God. The scorning fool turns a deaf ear to rebuke. Now, I'm going to tell you a story that, that happened to me when I was a kid. Um, one time, my mother was, was scolding me, and I was at the table with my brother and sister. We were eating, and I, I probably was being wise. I mean, I was, I was a brat. <laughs> I was, I was, I was proud. Don't say anything. <laughs> um, um, but um, I was sitting at the table, and I decided I didn't want to hear her. I didn't want to hear her, so I turned them off. <laughs> and 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 there's Daddy and Carrie going, you know, and then all of a sudden, whack, cracked my head. And you know what? And, she, and I turned it back on, and she said, don't you ever do that again. And 
I never did that again. So, hey, don't turn off your hearing aids, okay? <laughs> but it's true, it's true. And it's, it's, it's so easy, even for a fool to shut off his hearing aids or shut off your ears because they don't yeah. want to hear it. Yeah. And it's sad. Yeah. It's sad because, you know what? They're really missing out, yeah. you know? I mean, the people in church that don't want to hear, hear the truth, yeah. you know, the, I mean, the kingdom truth. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, and it's time. It's time for people to rise. There's so much stuff going on right now. Yeah. You know, I'm, I'm scared for my children and my grandchildren. Yeah. You know, this Hillary and, and Byrne was just telling me, and I'm not trying to get off track, but she was telling me about, the satanic people in the back, well, at the um, when they were the Clinton were doing a debate, was was that it or something like that? Was was some kind of, yeah, yeah, yeah. And she was allowing people, to, to, yeah, to, allowing people to do that. So you know it's scary, and those are fools. Tammy, let me and let me let me clarify it. Okay, okay, okay. I was wrong. I'm there sorry. There was there was a news clip. Okay, and it showed like a banner with all these pentagrams and stuff okay. and it was that the satanic order of priests wanted their turn when when congress oh, okay. opens they have a ministry come in and open the session with prayer and now the satanic priesthood being recognized as a religion wants their opportunity to go into Congress and open the session with prayer. That way, I, oops, sorry. Basically, all it is is a false god, okay? And one of the things we got to make clear here is the fact um, we, we've, we've kind of messed up in America because we've used the generic name God. Though they be God's many, and Lord's many, okay, but there's only one Jesus. Amen. <clears throat> and that's basically was the weakness of our founding fathers, was not to, and, 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 I, and I understand it was their language at the, at the time. It was their situation. It was understood that when they said God, they were Christian. Then when they said God, they meant Jesus, okay? But the issue we're dealing with now is we've already let the Muslims come in and pray at, at the Senate and the Congress. We already allowed that. We already allowed a, a Muslim to become president. We, we haven't thought far enough, you know. They've made it racial and all this stuff. You gotta come to the understanding. Uh, you know this whole thing about you get to choose your sex? We've already got that in the presidency. We got a guy who's half and half. He got to choose what he wanted to be. See, we, didn't, we haven't thought that far. We just said, oh, well, he's a black man. No, he isn't a black man. He's half Kenyan and half white. Yep. So he got to choose what he wanted to be. That's true. Okay? So we got the same thing. Whatever we want to worship, we get to choose. So we want to offer them everything. That was not. Sorry, I didn't mean to get off. Um, I just say that because we have to wake up and arise and because start praying. Amen. Yeah. Okay, and this is this is the scorning fool. Um, I forgot where. Okay, I did that. Okay, I got confused where I'm at. A wise son, <clears throat> Proverbs thirteen one says, "A wise son hears his father's instruction, but a scorner hears not rebuke." Those who attempt to lead the scorning fool away from the path of destruction that seems that he seems determined to to follow will suffer his wrath. That's true. 
And I put in Proverbs 15, 12, that that reproveth a scorner gets to himself shame. And this is the fifth one. So we got, we got, we got the, the simple fool, the silly fool, sensual fool, the scorning fool, and this is a steadfast fool. And the first one when I get the Hebrew word, <clears throat> excuse me, um, it's, it's nabal, which means stu stupid, I hate that word, stupid, wicked, it, 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 identifies the type of person and it ignores God the types of person. A step fast fool totally ignores God and in his ways. And in Psalm fourteen one it says, The fool has said in his heart, There is no God. They are corrupt. They have done abominable works. There is none that does good. So that defies fools, which I thought was, I never knew there were so many fools, you know? <laughs> and these are the warnings of all types of fools. And, and the instruction, uh, and, and God's instruction in it, not to be a fool, walk circumspectively, not as fools, but wise. And that's in Ephesians 5.15. And I also wrote um, the Hebrew language. It's very hard for me to say. It's kis il. Silly, right? Did I say that right? Okay. <laughs> it's it's kis sil, stupid or silly. Oh, I hate that word. Stupid or silly, foolish. And the Greek word is 34, 74, and is more morose, dull, stupid, as if shut up, headless, blackhead, absurd, and foolish. Now, I mean, those aren't really, to me, that's not really intelligent words, but that's what they put there. Yep. You know, I was like, whoa, okay. <laughs> and um, I, I stopped here because I felt this is where God wanted me to stop. I prayed about it because I was going to start, and I felt... So this one I said for the ending, I said, don't be a fool. Think, listen, obey, and pray. And also examine yourself every day. And um, I didn't start with prayer, so I'm going to end with prayer. Okay? Thank you, Lord, for giving me the strength to do this. Thank you, Lord, that, that you helped me overcome my fear. Thank you, Lord, for your strength for the whole week, because it's been quite a week. Thank you, Lord, for the sunshine. And I thank you, Lord, that we're going to worship and praise you like never before. And I thank you, and I, I believe in all my heart that we are going to reach, we are going into that next dimension, oh, Lord God. And I thank you for the word that's come out of Pastor's mouth. Lord, let it be of your words, and not his words, oh, Lord. Um, Lord God, I pray for him right now, for the healing from the top of head, so his feet. I pray that his feet doesn't hurt as he's walking, as he's standing, oh, Lord God. I thank you for this man because without him, we, I mean, we wouldn't have a house, a house because we need a father and no Lord. And Lord, so we thank you and I thank you so much for you. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. amen.